Hey guys, it's Jen. Today I am 25 weeks and one day pregnant with little Easton. It's not even that much longer and then I'll be in the third trimester, which just seems crazy. I did have my growth ultrasound on Wednesday and Easton is doing perfect. He is measuring right on track. Um, <clears throat> we um, did the measurements of everything that they do and listen to his heartbeat. Um, so 152 beats per minute. Um, he, like I've said before, he's super, super active and he was even being active when we were having the ultrasound. I mean, it's neat to see him on the screen and filling him on the inside just to kind of get like a different view of what's going on in there when I'm feeling that just to watch him kick his legs or to stretch his arms and it was just it was just so cool um it looked like a couple times he was munching on something I don't know his lips were kind of moving like that um just the sweetest sweetest little thing like I said, he was measuring right on track. I had that done at 24 weeks, six days, and he was measuring right at that. So, perfect. He, they um, guessed his weight at um, one pound, nine ounces, so they said that was perfect. Um, so, I mean, he's doing great. Uh, the doctor came in, was very pleased um, with the results, and so yeah, I'm really excited. That makes me very happy. Um, because, you know, if you've been following my um, updates, then you know that from my first trimester screening results, I had, um, it showed that I had low PAP A, which is a hormone that the placenta produces. And if it's low, then um, it can mean that the placenta might not function properly. And um, so because of that, it could mean that the baby, um, will have a smaller birth weight and worst case scenarios of course but I'm staying away from those I just know that everything's gonna be fine so um, so that's why we have these regular growth ultrasounds and I go back for um, another one in five weeks so we'll see what he's what he's weighing in and what he's measuring at then so I think it'll all be fine um, he's doing great so um, when the girl that was doing our ultrasound, she was actually still fairly new with this um, with this practice. So she had um, one of the older experienced ones in the room with her while she was doing it. And, you know, so she did all that she did. And then the other one just had to make sure she got all the images that we needed and all that kind of stuff. And then the one that did the ultrasound that was still training went and took my file, you know, to get the doctor, talked to the doctor, and then the doctor came back in. And so the, um, the lady that had been there for a while, she, um, she was like, all right, well, I'm going to play with babies. So she got the machine out again, the, um, thing out again and started, um, looking at him. So we got to see him even more. And then I got so excited because she flipped it over to the 3d mode and I was so, so happy. And it's not like their normal routine to do the 3d just for the basic kind of ultrasounds like that, um, at this place. So I was so excited and he is the cutest little baby ever. And <laughs> I don't know, it kind of looks like Kaylin did on her 3d ultrasound, but that was also at 28, 29 weeks. So she had a little bit more like fat on her skin. Her cheeks are a little bit chunkier. Um, so he still has a little bit of weight to gain and get a little bit chunkier. Um, but it kind of looks like her, but I'll insert pictures right here so you can see. I'll show you the 2D that we did. And then I'll also show you a few of the 3D and he's just precious. So as for symptoms this week, um, <clears throat> I've noticed quite a few Braxton Hicks just off and on, nothing regular, nothing really to be concerned about, just um, starting to get a little bit more uncomfortable. And I think that um, some of the times they're triggered by him moving around because I feel him pushing out on a certain spot of my belly and then I start to get 
the Braxton Hex. So I think it's just from him moving around so much is why I'm getting him now. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, him getting bigger and just pushing and I think that's what's causing it. So yeah, they're definitely a little bit uncomfortable, but nothing where it's like I'm in pain, but just uncomfortable. Um, my energy has been going up and down still. Um, I've found that I do so much the beginning of the week that come Thursday, the day that my days change over, I'm just done. I am pooped. I'm exhausted. I don't want to do anything. I don't want to get ready. I don't want to go anywhere. Nothing. So that's why they, that's why I've been recording my updates on Friday when I am, um, you know, just one day over um, from my weeks turning over. So yeah, yesterday, and it didn't help that we had the tropical storm coming through here in Florida, and so it was raining all day, and yeah, I did not feel like doing anything. We watched Cinderella, and we baked cookies, and I worked on her baby book, finally. That was my February goal, was to get up to date on her baby book. Yeah, so didn't even touch it until yesterday. So um, I got some stuff done, just need to get pictures um, picked out that I want to print and put in there. So making progress, but I need to get that done before he gets here and I'm like way behind. I've still been having a really itchy belly. Um, still no stretch marks that I see, um, but I'm just so itchy and just trying to keep um, just the heavy creams and everything on it definitely have had um, increased CM even more so joys of pregnancy um, one day I had um, bad sinus I think it was Wednesday afternoon I started just getting a sinus headache and pressure and I don't know if it's just because of the weather system that was coming in um, I'm not sure but I I just I felt just ugh. I had to I actually took Tylenol, which is, I think, maybe the second time I have this pregnancy. I try not to take anything. I just don't really like to. Um, but I took some Tylenol, and I rested, and then it was feeling a little bit better, but it was better when I was relaxing myself. When I got up to do anything or when I drove anywhere, that's when it started bothering me more. Um, but luckily, I, the next morning when I woke up, I didn't really have the issue, so that was good. Oh, and yesterday when I turned 25 weeks, um, I felt hiccups that I know of for sure. Um, I don't remember when I first felt them with Kaylin, um, but every now and then I've thought that I have felt a hiccup, but yesterday I know that it was hiccups because I could feel them um, with the hiccups and then he'd kick and just kind of get like he was frustrated because of the hiccups or something and then I'd... He would kind of move and then I'd feel the, you know, the little, the little bumps, you know, that it does when they hiccup. Um, so yeah, I'm feeling hiccups now and I loved feeling the hiccups with Kaylin. It was just so neat, you know. I guess that's it for 25 weeks. I can't think of any other symptoms. Um, my boobs are getting a lot bigger still. I feel like they are. Um, so that's a, that's definitely a change. Um, we'll just go ahead and do the belly shot measurement and weight is at one from last week. So... What does that put us? 19-ish? I don't know. I always put it down below and that's like the accurate total. Um, yeah, so that's where we're at weight-wise, but, but we'll go ahead and do the um, belly shot measurement. So here we are with shirt down. And I did eat not long ago, so I do have a little bit of full belly, but I don't think that makes as much of a difference as it used to because the belly is already established. <laughs> it's there. All right. I am filling out more at the top up here. As the uterus moves up further, I'm definitely filling the fullness up here. Okay, we're at 38 and one quarter of an inch is what that looks like. 25 weak belly. 
And that's it. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.